everyone! Welcome to our Floss Tube channel, The Sun City Stitchers. I'm Carleen. And I'm Marley, and this is episode number 28. We are very excited you are joining us. We know there are so many wonderful Floss Tube channels, and yes. we appreciate the fact that you come back and watch us uh -huh. um, <laughs> each week. It's hard to believe it's another Friday. I know. Um, just a week ago, we were up in the mountains, mountains. cross-stitching to our heart's content. I know, it was so fun. That such, was such a fun, fun yes, weekend. It was really fun. It was so, a really nice weekend. It was. It was good. It was cold, really good. It was but cold. it was, but it but it was, was fun. really, really fun. Mm -hmm. We are going to start this week um, and do a drawing because in um, episode number 25, we had done a drawing mm -hmm. For from sea to shining sea. Yes, from Little House Needleworks. Little House Needleworks, and mm -hmm. the um, drawing included all five patterns, mm -hmm. which were the four houses across um, that that five, span five from houses. five houses. So it's six patterns then. Yes, and six then patterns. pattern okay. number six is for the border, border. Yes. and it also comes with the, the silk. Thread. Mm -hmm. The it's silk the thread. floss. Right. Um, Each pattern contains its own set of thread. Yes. So we want to say a great big congratulations to Barbara Davis. Yay. She was our winner, randomly yes. drawn. Congratulations, from Barbara. The comments, mm -hmm. all of the comments. So congratulations, Barbara. Barbara, in the description box, I have contact information for me that includes my um, email address. So you can go ahead and email me um, at that address. Send me your address. And I will get this mailed off to you. So congratulations, Barbara Davis, for winning our very first ever, ever drawing, drawing yes. on and our hope, floss tube channel. I hope you enjoy stitching it as much as we have. Yes. It's a really fun project to stitch. Very fun yes. stitch. Okay, so then Marlene, let's talk a little bit about your stitching part. Okay, well, first I have to show you my needle book from from one of the camp projects because last week when I showed it I didn't realize it but my M was not centered so I have taken it out and I've recentered it so now it looks much better it looks very nice yes yeah. so anyway so I wanted to show you that so you all wouldn't think oh my gosh she didn't get her initial centered it, it is centered now <laughs> it wasn't but it is now yes it is now <laughs> and we are going to do a demonstration mm -hmm. Um, today on our floss tube on how to finish this. Marlene's going to show you all how you do the nun stitch. Uh -huh, which so is this part right it's there. The little, it's the, the outline. Yeah. Right. The, and it, it's also, it's used as a hem stitch. And we'll talk mm -hmm. a little bit about it as Marlene's demonstrating how to do it. It's a very simple stitch, mm -hmm. um, but it's great for finishing. And then we will, we will show you how this gets finished into a needle book. So we will be demonstrating that um, today. So okay. what else did you work on this okay. week, Marlene? Well, then I worked on um, Pumpkin Patch Farm. This was my number eight for Miami. This is a Victoria sampler. Mm -hmm. She's using, um, it comes with a thread pack, a yes. silk thread pack, mm -hmm. and the call for fabric. So this is what I have done. I worked on putting the windows in. I just um, love I got the way the that house. house Doesn't plan. it? It looks just like a little country farm I know, house. Isn't it so cute? I oh, love I just that. love it. I want to work Very on that pretty. one some more. I worked on one of my camp projects. I worked on the May pin roll. So I have almost everything done. Um, this is backstitched. I have a few stitches to put in here and I have to backstitch around this flower. And then down here, there's like a little pot of flowers and there's a little bit of backstitching. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, I have oh, just this cute. little pot of flowers. I've started there. mine. I'm just working on the border so, still. Uh, it was a so. fast stitch. Mm -hmm. So I did That's that. Cute. And then I also worked on Poison Garden, which is my Paired with my number one team, Alabama. I have not worked on this, my college game day at all. Mm, I worked on mine. 
I'm all cut up for week eight, and now I'm just catching yeah, up on week good. nine. So I put some more of the border in up here. The Bella Atropa? Yeah. Oh, just the border, yeah, the straight the border. stitches. Uh -huh. Are you I reading do. your little floss hoppers? Are you using them to count? Uh, no, I often use the little running stitch. Yeah, because I was just worried that the that I still wouldn't. I wouldn't get the little things lined up or something. I also worked on um, my Easter shadow box. This was for one of my challenges. I can't remember right now what it was. Um, but this one I had done. Mm -hmm. And I also had the center something square with a done. With a um, but this one has just a button that goes in the center. It was something because I did Here Comes Peter Cottontail. I had the outside border stitched, but I didn't have the words and, and the little cart. So oh, wow. So you got I did. a lot done on it then. I, I finished this one. Uh -huh. And then I also did the outside border of this one. Oh, wow. So then I have just one left. Oh, so that's good. Yes. So this is coming along very nicely. Yeah. I should get this that's one. Good. Well, if I get it out and work on it, I yes. don't know if I'm going to work on it. Know. It's Easter. I mean, I'm not I really know. in the mood for no. Easter, but then I really would like to get it done. So yes. uh, the decisions. Okay, so then, um, then another one I worked on was the um, Changing Seasons by Fox and Rabbit. This is my number four paired with Clemson. And I worked on, oh, I started this up here, this box. Oh, isn't that pretty? With the little flowers and the leafy things. Oh, that looks really pretty. How did you do yours? It looks you completely more? different than the way I did mine. I made mine look like an iris, but see, you're putting more green in. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. Oh, good. Okay, I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, but... Yeah, no, I like it a lot. I thought, well, you know what? I think I'm going to do this with just a tiny little flower since it's supposed to be spring. Spring, like it's just budding. Yeah. 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 So that's that looks really pretty. It. So, okay, good. Yeah, I did I mine with, really some, like with yellow to make it look I, like an iris. I was going to have, I was going to text you and say, can you send me a picture of how you did yours? And then I was like, well, and I'll then just do it like this. Last week, my homework was to work on um, something that could be found in a snake exhibit. And so Marlene looked it up for me. And spiders, some snakes eat spiders. So since I had spiders on here, I worked on this. Oh, yeah. um, I wanted, yes, my something wicked alphabet. I wanted to get the alphabet done by Halloween, but that did not happen. And so here I am, only partly done with the alphabet. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know whether I will continue to work on this or not. I probably will because it's fun. But, I mean, the mood is gone now because Halloween yeah. is over. Halloween is over. Now I'm into fall. Yeah, fall, 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 Thanksgiving things. kind of thing. Okay, and then I worked on um, Anniversaries of the Heart. And this is paired with number four. By Houston, and this I one's on called Moonlight Visitor. Moonlight Visitor. It's a blackbird mm -hmm. design. Um, it I'm, was part. Uh, it was number. Was it number five of twelve? No, no number number eight. One, number two, eight. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number ten. Oh, number ten. Because we had that bonus yeah, project in yeah. there. So anyway, so I worked on that. Oh, you came along nicely. Yes. You got that tree almost done. No, the tree is done. Oh, the tree is the done. Tree is so all what, done. what are you working on? Um, I put the little steps in for the house. Oh, okay. So I'm ready to start the house now. Oh, that's good. I had some little challenges on my tree because two of my leaves were in the wrong place. So I had to take the leaves out and reposition them correctly. So she's working on the steps down yes, here. Yes, so I'm, I'm done with the steps and now I'm ready to work on the, I guess, the foundation of the house. Oh, very nice. Little, I think it's like a little very checkerboard true. or something. But yeah, well, then I also I worked on. on my stitching chair necessaire. And again, I don't remember. Oh, it was a project that I had given a nice long break to. Oh, yeah. And I hadn't worked on this for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm just working on the actual, um, the, the little pockets and the pillow. These are done. 
So now what I'm working on is the outer border and then I have to put the alphabet in. And so I got the top half of the border done mm -hmm. and the leaves that go under the alphabet. So, um, oh, that's good. Yes, it actually went very fast. So this, again, this is one that I'm hoping to get done uh -huh. this year. Um, Cause I really am kind of excited about finish, yeah. finishing it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Did you have then, anything else? Yes. So then number eight. No, number nine is nostalgia. It's paired with Mizzou. And I worked We on, are doing this over one. Yes, over floss one. On 28 20, count. Yeah, 28 count. One strand of floss, uh -huh. anchor floss. So I just put in these little count purple motifs one. and these little yellow motifs and this pot. Right it's just so delicate and pretty looking. It's beautiful. But, I just oh, love working on it. Such a pain to stitch. Oh, well, I really a... love it. I just love it. I don't. I just look forward to it when I get to work on it. I don't know. I. I really. I just. Really I love, love the it. way it looks. It's so pretty. I really, really like it. I think it's really fun. I didn't work on anything else. And then I have one more. I'm not quite done with this one. This that was all for well. Um, the Pumpkin Patch Farm was catching up on week seven. That was the last project I had to do for week seven. The, and then the other ones that I've showed you are have been all for week eight. And now this is catching up on week nine. So this is Ohio. Um, this one, uh, Quilted Ohio Bees, State. is paired with Ohio State. Our number two T. Number two, yes. And, and this is... Oh, so you're to, doing this so block I'm, yes, right I'm here. Yes, I'm working on that block again. Uh -huh. That's pretty... Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I just Very love pretty. it. Yeah. So. Those colors are pretty. Mm -hmm. I think it's really pretty. It I looks really, really nice. So anyway, so I'm excited to work on that one some more too. The next thing that we're going to do is show you how we finish um, needle books. And this is the project that we did at camp. And we're going to start with Marlene demonstrating how to do the nun stitch. The nun stitch, so I'm gonna come over here and actually go through um, the magnifier. magnifier. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marlene. Yeah. And Marlene, and so we're gonna we're gonna show you how to do the nun stitch, and then we'll talk a little bit about the nun stitch. So Marlene. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so usually with the nun stitch, you do it in a sewing motion, but because I'm having so much trouble with my vision right now, I'm actually using the stick stab method, okay? So I've already done a couple of stitches. Um, so I'm starting up here at the top, and I'm gonna go down two threads and um, put that, it's almost like a back stitch that you're doing or a straight stitch. So I did it once and then for the nun stitch, you do it two times. So I'm actually gonna stitch over that, the stitch that I just made. I'm gonna stitch it again. So see how she's going right over, uh -huh. right the exact on the top. Uh -huh. same uh -huh. um, stitch. Mm -hmm. So now I have done it twice. So now I'm going to come down here to the bottom and make the bottom area, the bottom row. And you went over two over threads. Over two again. From mm -hmm. where, the, where the base was. And then yes. see how she's sharing then, a hole. Yes, and then I'm sharing the hole. So there's my first one. And now I'm going to do that same exact stitch again in the same space. And they use this when they did all kinds of handwork and a lot of um, like women's um, underclothing. Undergarments. Undergarments was was um, finished with a hem stitch. And I'm gonna show nun you a nun stitch or it, it's similar to, to a the hem, hem stitch. stitch yes. But this is called a nun stitch. And so, so you just keep going as long as you need your border. You just do as many. I find it, and when I'm when I'm doing this, I find it easier to count um, this little part here going up mm -hmm. to keep track of where uh -huh. I'm at. So that's how I 
That's how I count it. So, so and then you just keep going until you really, have your area it's done. It's really pretty mindless. Yes, it is. It's a it's pretty very, mindless little stitch. You just have to kind of keep track so you remember if you've done two or not. <laughs> so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move over here. And I'm going to demonstrate I, the steps we take to finish um, the needle book. So Marlene, if you want to, we'll switch here. I have my little ironing station. We're not going back to the craft room tonight. I don't know why, but we aren't. And so Marlene is going to take over the camera now. And we are going to take a look at the piece. This happens to be my finished piece. I'm gonna put a little more light on the subject here. Mm -hmm. And just turn this so that we have just a little more light here. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So I have already, um, let me use my, my one of my needles to show this. I have already pulled out the thread so that I have a channel. And when I, if I lift it up, you can see it a yes. little bit better. Mm -hmm. So I have done that on three sides. And so you just go one thread away from where your your nun stitch ended, leave one thread, and then pull out a channel. Um, and so I'm going to do that. So I need to leave one thread, and I'm going to just go ahead and pull on this thread a little bit. And it broke, but that's fine because it's going to get completely removed. So see how I'm just using my, my needle and just lifting up and pulling it out. And now I'm just gonna give it a little tug and pull that out. Oh yeah, now, you can really see that channel. Uh-huh, yeah. and now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go the other direction and remove this thread. This is creating a uh, place for me to cut my stitched piece so that I can finish it. I feel like I'm putting, nope, that's the right thread. So, hmm. And so once I get this done, then I'm going to take my good fabric scissors and I'm going to cut right in that little channel that I just made by removing one thread. And then the piece will be all trimmed. So, uh, oh, it broke again. Yeah, it it um, does it pull out hard. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, let me put this needle away before I drop it. Okay, so it's gonna go up here. All right. So now I'm gonna use my good fabric scissors and see how I'm going to cut right here in this channel. Now I know that I'm not cutting too close, but I'm also not leaving too much space a big border. a big edge mm -hmm. on it because you want it to look all nice and neat and pretty this is very good if you watched our floss tube um, from last week at camp you met nancy waller of faith works and she was talking about how she had kind of different seasons in her designing cross stitch designing career and that she had done a lot of needle rolls and all of her, the needle rolls, the, ed, the ends of the needle rolls are finished um, with a hem stitch. And Marlene, if you remind me when we the, get done with this. The hem stitch or the nun the stitch? The nun stitch. I don't know why I keep saying. I'm, I'm calling it everything but yes, the, the nun, nun stitch. stitch today. So now you see how nice and neat that is? It's oh, all yes, cut. It's really Very good. nice. Mm -hmm. And so the next thing that we're going to do, I want to show you. We got, at camp last weekend, we got a, a bag like this. It had our names on it. And it has all of the finishing that we need for every project that we had at camp. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that just cool? So Marlene has one too, but she, of course, yes. just passed it on to yes, me. Yes, I just handed it right so over. I was for, like, here, you can have this. So... <laughs> I was so excited to get it. Um, for the needle book, it tells me that I'm going to need wool felt, the beige print cotton fabric, and a small piece of Wonder Under. 
So from my little bag of tricks here, I'm going to pull those things out. I don't oh, that's so nice. They told you what you need for each one. Isn't that cool? That's very organized. Yes, super organized. So I'm going to set this aside because I will not need anything else from this bag until I get to another finishing project. So I have the wool felt, which is actually going to be the inside of the needle book here. Okay. And then I have the fabric, the cotton fabric, and the piece of Wonder Under. So I'm going to start first by turning my iron on. Um, and I am going to under, under, I'm going to iron the Wonder Under on to no, my fabric You're piece. not ironing, you're pressing, right? I'm pressing, that's right. There is a difference. I learned that last weekend. If you're ironing, you're moving your iron back and forth like this. If you're pressing, which you want to do like for a Wonder Under, um, iron on interfacing, you simply set it down and hold it for a few seconds and then pick it up and set it down and hold it for a few seconds. So I am pressing tonight, I am not ironing. And so I'm holding it here for a few seconds because you want the wonder under to adhere to the fabric. So just for probably, I usually kind of count slowly to 10, pick up the iron, set it back down in a new spot, Press firmly, but you don't have to, I mean, you don't have to build muscles to do this. <laughs> and then I'm going to move it to this last little corner. I think I've got it good. Okay, I'm going to let that cool for just a second. And in the meantime, I'm going to find my direction. Just to make sure I'm following the fabul fabulous finisher Terry's directions. All right, so we've done the channel. Wonder under to the lighting fabric. I want to give this a little press on this side too, because I want it to be smooth and nice, and it looked a little wrinkly. There we go. This is ironing. <laughs> okay, so that's cooling. I'm going to peel the paper backing. So one side is paper, the other side is just kind of a little bit of a, a tacky feel to it. I'm going to peel this off. So let me show you. And you can feel it on the back. Mm -hmm. It it has a um, kind of adhesive-y feeling, it's a little sticky. So that is being pulled off. And then what's gonna happen is, I'm going to iron it onto the back side of my needle book. Press it, press it. Hmm. Now, my directions did not say to trim the fabric, but I should have known that before. So I'm going to very carefully trim. So it's even with the... My fabric, the lining fabric, the lining. so that it's the same size as my needle book. Let's look at that picture again. does look like she maybe had it come just inside. See how you can, on the back side, you can see the... Oh, yeah. So I'm going to trim mine just a little bit smaller, actually. See, this people, this really should have happened prior to iron, to pressing on the wonder <laughs> under. All right? Do not do as I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Now we had a, I don't want to cut this with, um, oh yeah, there's a little scissor up there on, I'm probably under my stitching stuff. Here it is. 
Okay, I'm just gonna use this as a little template so that I can um, make it fit on my needle book. So. Normally, I would have done this ahead of time and then trimmed the fabric and ironed on the wonder under, but uh, it's been a long week for me. A long, difficult week of only three days. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to trim the fabric. This is a wool pressing mat, and it presses your pieces very nicely. Um, I am going to use my pressing cloth as well when I do this, just to make sure that I'm not getting anything on the wool pressing mat or on my iron. And so, I just have one of those flower sacks that I use. And so I'm gonna just spread that here. And then I'm gonna place my stitched piece right side down. And now this is my fabric and it is going to go right side up. So so now the sticky part is against the- Is against the, the back okay. of your stitched piece. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to press. So I'm positioning my iron over most of the piece and I'm gonna hold it down for a good 10 seconds. And here, I was gonna put this over. Well, it's kind of good that you didn't so that they could see how you were doing it. Yes, and so now let me finish here. Okay, so that is pressed on. So now what I'm going to be doing next is using my pearls. And we did not attach our pearls to the front. It will go right down here and one will go right back here. We did not attach them first because we wanted to make sure that they were on really good. And so our directions told us that we were going to press it on or um, attach them after we'd put the lining on because it'll just make the pearl stay a little more secure. Well, and plus, wouldn't it be hard to, to put the wonder under if the pearls were there? It doesn't, be... it doesn't go on as nicely yeah. if you've got that little bump oh. of a pearl. Mm -hmm. And so that will get attached. And then the last thing that I'll do is place this um, piece of felt, or wool actually, inside like this. And then you can see in the picture that it's just a running stitch down the center that attaches it and you can see it on the picture here, a running stitch down the, the center that will attach that so that you've got your needle book. And then I'm gonna put my thread hopper and my um, marking pin it, that we got as Camp Mementos in this little needle book. So that is how you finish a needle book. Oh, very nice. Yes. Very nice. Very easy, the nun stitch makes it very simple. I wanna show you another example of a project we did, well, actually a couple of nun stitches.
one year for camp, one of our camp projects was a little pillow like this for every month. And Terry actually sewed um, all of the little pillows for us. And then we stitched the design and the edge is the nun stitch. Nun stitch. So once mm -hmm. we finished, we d did just what I did tonight. Mm -hmm. We pulled out that channel, cut right in that line. And then it was just a matter of tacking them on at the corners and it was finished so it was a very easy little finish did we did we just tack them on at the corners or did we whip stitch all the way around i i don't remember i know i attached them and i don't remember if i just did the no it looks like i did more of yeah. a running stitch all the way yeah. around That's but it was easy I to attach too. okay then let me show you one other project that used the nun stitch Several years ago, Nancy did a series of oh, um, my autumn. neck roll pillows. And the edging, so this is like a giant needle roll, but the, the edging here was the nun stitch. Oh, uh -huh. So again, we just cut, and then all we had to do when it was finished, once we cut that part, we just did bows and tied the ends. We, st it, we got the preformed neck roll pillows for this. So there's a seam here, and then we just stuffed it with the neck roll pillow and tied that's bows. That's very cute. Yeah, that was that's the- That's another thing that's lost. Oh, it's wherever- Lost? It's, yes, it's wherever my Shades of Autumn are, is. Those All right. things are lost. So the next thing we're gonna do is share with you what we have coming up for stitching. You want to? So Marlene, let's talk about what it is that we're going to be stitching this week. Oh, you know what, Mark, can you get your lamp? It's oh. it's making oh. a strange thing here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so what are you going to be working on this week? Okay, well, I'm going to continue working on college game day, of course, catching up on week. I have to work on nine. That. I need to nine. work on eight and nine. Mm -hmm. I just have to finish week nine. And so I'm going to be doing that. But um, tomorrow, on Saturday, while I'm watching college game, college football, I'm going to work on Hello Autumn. I didn't That's bring that good. because I haven't worked on it since I showed it last time. I haven't so I didn't decided bring it. what I'm going to work on tomorrow. So that's that's what I'm going to work on. So I have college game day to catch up on. Mm -hmm. And I want to work on Hello Autumn. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, and you have Fall on the Farm. Yeah, and then Sunday while I'm watching NFL football, I'm going to work on Fall on the Farm. Well, I have <laughs> I have some homework projects. Um, one of them says it was something for coloring between the lines. So um, I'm going to use my fall on the farm for that. And I'm going to be doing um, this, this house right here. I have the windows put in and oh, the uh -huh. doors. They're all white, mm -hmm. so it's hard to see. But since it's my homework task says coloring between the lines, I'm going to be filling in the house. Oh yeah, that with will be good. the little well, the milk barn, I guess it is. So I'm gonna just be filling in all the brown. So that's gonna be my coloring is it brown between or the red? lines. It's brown. It's that oh. brandy pears. Oh, brandy pears. Oh, yes, brandy pears. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to be working on that, and and you know I really want to get like that square done and the next one that i'd started mm -hmm. and get that one finished then i'd have two left yeah. the goal is to be finished by the end of the year with that yeah um I'm then i, I have another project have <laughs> and i have to work on a whip that has an animal with antlers, antlers. Uh -huh. and so my fall drum which is another one of my goals to get done this year has a deer on it has antlers and so this is where i'm at so this, I, was, this was last year's camp project. It, yes, last year's camp project. So Wonder this it. is all I have done. But, I mean, I think it will go fast. It's a lot of filling in. This could have been coloring between the lines, oh, too. Oh, yes, it definitely could have. It's all, all filling in green here. So mm -hmm. maybe I'll switch it around. Maybe I'll do that. 
Maybe that I'll do fun. this one I for both of them. I'm excited because it's yeah, fall. It's and... really fun. I love doing that one. And then the last thing that I have to work on this week is something Your with favorite. an elf. A whip with an elf. Did you finish Alfred the Stitching Elf? Yeah, he's done. He's done. And finished, finished. Oh, okay. And I sent him to Terry. Oh, okay. He I went remember. first. And then my Santa went. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I couldn't remember if you finished So him. this is it. This is um, Captain Timothy. My little, I guess he's a candy cane elf. I don't know what he is. Anyway, I don't know why I just dislike him, but I just do. And I'm doing him with fun fibers. and But I just am not very excited. I think the problem was I thought he was going to be a fast stitch. And it turns out that he was not. Oh. And mm -hmm. so I was a little disappointed. But anyway, he's going to be cute. And where did you find him? I don't know. It looks like maybe he was a free project. But it's printed on like cardstock. Phase Crafty Creations. I don't, mm. I don't know where I got it. Something from, from camp because it said yeah. it's Nancy's the retreat. The pattern is on the back. Oh, so let's not show that. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, well, yeah. you don't need to see that page. So this is him. So that's what I'm going to work on. Yes. I'm okay, work on well, him. that's good. So, okay. <laughs> um, He's cute. He is very cute. And his little sweater has Christmas trees on the bottom. Yeah, that's cute. He's really cute. I It's kind of hard because the, the picture yeah. has the pattern. But I'll show it up close here like this. And so is, you can see. Are these see. his feet right here? Or where are his Yes, he's going to have, he has to have legs underneath his those Christmas trees on his sweater. He'll have two little straight legs with elf shoes what on. Is, what is this right here? That's the fur trim on the oh, bottom of his coat. Okay, okay. I can't see that. And and what about his eyes? What do you I have to them? I have to back stitch. Oh okay. There's back stitch on that. Okay. He's very cute. I like him. He'd be a darling little Christmas ornament. Oh, yes. He'll be really so, cute. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. Or even like a little, um, um, oh, well, maybe he's too big for a petite easel, I guess. Well, no. I think he'd probably be okay for a, a that would be well, maybe not a petite easel, but a little, um, trifle. Yeah. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. short stack or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't know how I'll finish him. I need to get him stitched before yes. I worry about finishing. Yes, that's true. <laughs> so um, next week, you guys uh, plan to tune in because Marlene and I will be sharing our haul oh, yes. um, from camp. And so... Hopefully. Hopefully we'll have it. Yes, we should. Mm -hmm. um, so we will be sharing our haul and um, showing you some of the treasures that we got mm -hmm. at the Lots boutique. Lots of treasures. Uh, oh that we got gosh. at the boutique. And, um, and it was and so bad. I think I actually found more things that I wanted as we were taking stuff down. We as we were packing up stuff up, Monday. I kept saying, oh, I want this. Oh, I want this. I kept going oh, and adding this? to my um, stash. Yes. So, um, but anyway, so plan to tune in next week so that you can enjoy our haul and we'll show you um, what we got, new stuff that we got. And then also, um, we are going to have a giveaway. Um, also yes. something from camp. So make sure you tune in for that so that mm -hmm. you can sign up. And again, Barbara Davis, make sure you reach out to me so that I can get your... Um, chart in the mail for From you. Sea to shining sea. sea to shining sea. So everybody have a great weekend. Um, enjoy the the fall weather while it lasts. It's mm -hmm. getting down late into fall. Yeah. We're having be pretty beautiful weather. It was chilly today, yeah. But um, it's fall is pretty in mm -hmm. El Paso. It is. So we hope you all have lots of time to stitch. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lots of stitchy time. I told Marlene I should clean house, but I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cross stitch. Um, so yes, remember that a day without laughter is like a day without sunshine. So wherever you are, bring your own sunshine and, and keep, keep on, on stitching. stitching. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.